Physiological Aspects of Hirschsprung's Disease Etiology Hirschsprung disease, also known as congenital megacolon, it's associated with Down syndrome, caused by trisomy 21, and is also connected to RET gene mutations. It involves a congenital absence of ganglion cells in the submucosal, Meisner, and myenteric, Auerbach, plexuses in the distal bowel, extending proximally for variable distances. It stems from the failure of ganglion cells to migrate cephalocaudally through the neural crest during weeks 4 through 12 of gestation. The absence of parasympathetic plexuses in the bowel causes incomplete distension and spasmodic contractions, leading to functional obstruction with upstream bowel dilation. Symptoms The symptoms of Hirschsprung's disease can vary depending on the extent of nerve cell absence. But common symptoms include constipation, abdominal pain, bloating, and vomiting. Infants with the disease may also experience the delayed passage of meconium, more than 48 hours, which is the first stool passed by a newborn. Note, a newborn with characteristics of Down syndrome who fails to pass meconium within the first 24 hours of life and exhibits a cardiac murmur is likely suffering from Hirschsprung disease. Extent of the disease Ultra short segment Is limited to the distal rectum below the pelvic floor and the anus Short segment Is limited to the rectosigmoid region, approximately seen in 80% of cases Long segment Is the involvement of the distal colon up to the splenic flexure, approximately seen in 10% of cases Total colonic Entire colon is seen in 3-8% to of cases Diagnosis Hirschsprung's disease is typically diagnosed through a combination of physical exams, medical history, and diagnostic tests, including barium enema, anorectal manometry, and biopsy of the colon. Rectal biopsy is a confirmatory test. Children may exhibit the squirt sign on rectal examination, an expulsion of fecal material following digital examination. Treatment the definitive treatment of Hirschsprung's disease typically involves surgical removal of the affected portion of the colon and reattachment of the remaining healthy part to the rectum. In some cases, a temporary colostomy may be necessary to allow the colon to heal after surgery. If left untreated, infants may develop enterocolitis or bowel perforation. Prognosis the prognosis of Hirschsprung's disease depends on the extent of nerve cell absence and the success of surgical treatment. In many cases, surgery is effective in resolving symptoms and improving quality of life. That's all for the video. We'll see you next time.